Okay, so I recently became aware that there is this whole genre of like TikTok and video making, YouTube, whatever, featuring people doing their makeup. <laughs> and I watched some of them and they were really detailed and I was like, wow, that's a lot of preparation to try to get presentable. So I thought I would share with you <laughs> what I do. So right now my hair is wrapped up in a sock. It's exactly how I sleep. So I put on some sunscreen. Actually, I put on a shit ton of sunscreen, like lather that stuff on. And then I have some, I got this because I saw it on um, Instagram, I think, which is just a sucker punch for advertising to the people who are feeling lonely or desperate for <laughs> something. <laughs> I bought it. Um, I think you're supposed to rub it in differently, but I just kind of let it like trickle down my face like that. It's not my favorite, actually. I, I don't know, but it's kind of got a lot of sunscreen in it. So it goes on really white and then presumably it sort of blends in eventually, but there's a lot of rubbing involved. <laughs> there we go. And with a lot of padding, try to get it because I have a lot of time that has kissed me. There we go. That's coming together. So rub that stuff in. There's a real face for you. I can't really tell much difference, but it's a lot more sunscreen. And for somebody who spends a lot of time outside, more sunscreen is good. Um, that's that. There you have it. And then step two, that's me in my mirror. That's weird. Um, there's red lipstick. I'm not sure what brand this is. I don't have my glasses on. I can't read it. Um, um, it's this red. It's very red. Look at that. I don't put it on both lips because <laughs> that would be too much red. I go like that. And then I go like this. And then look. I put it on here. And voila! A rosy cheek. I put a little on here. Voila! They just sell these cheek sticks. And I'm like, dude, that's just lipstick. Um, and then I put a little right there, I put a little right there, and now I just have this sort of rosy complexion. And sometimes I put a little there so I look flushed, like, oh, I'm recently in love. That's that. One of my, I think one of my goddaughters or one of my, my maybe my fashion savvy son, somebody told me about this, something like a highlighter, I think. I've had it for like four years. I think you're supposed to throw shit away after that much time. Put a little right there, a little right there, a little right here. I put a little on there, a little there, a little there, a little there. Boom, boom. And if I have any extra, I put it on my decolletage. Oh, by the way, I put a shit ton of sunscreen down there too. And then this mascara is called Better Than Sex. I can only assume that whoever made this mascara has never actually had good sex. But nevertheless, it's mascara. I actually would not recommend it over dime store varieties because I don't really see a difference. But you know, the beauty of age is that I can't see very well anyway. So it's like having a natural built-in face tune of time where um, <laughs> it blurs the lines. You just look sort of sideways at yourself and everything looks good. See all these gray bits? I look sideways at them. They just look like blonde highlights. Okay. Boom. Ready for the day. I think that's taken four minutes and it's been a lot of talking. Then I take my sock out of my hair, which is actually a sock. And you can see more of those beautiful highlighted gray bits. <laughs> Pull it right out like this. We'll see what happens. Sometimes you look a little like Orphan Annie in the morning when you get going, but it sort of chills out. Sock coming out of the hair. Boom, boom. <laughs> Ready for the day. What I've found, people, is that the most beautiful thing you can have is a smile. And the world needs a whole lot more of it. So whatever your beauty routine, I don't think we have to be more presentable to make a face in the world. Even though I do make some effort, five minutes of effort by the looks of things. Um... And I care. We all care. It's a humbling world out here where we're objectified and we're objectifying others. Um, 
I think a smile can make a big difference. Sending you all love. Stay curious and live with wonder.